I did a couple of stories recently about uh, the China tech company's 996 culture, the infamous 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., six days a week kind of work schedule. This is a, not an official work schedule. It's just kind of a company culture or even an industry culture thing. And again, this is not really isolated to China. This is a global phenomenon that's happening all around the world. Uh, all you got to do is point to Japan's labor force, and you can see exactly what's happening there. This is also happening in America. I've been subject to this culture personally, and I've worked my ass off. And it's one of the reasons why I left private companies in America to become a teacher. Um, my work-life balance as a teacher is much healthier than it was when I was sitting behind a desk for 12 hours a day, six days a week, in an Excel spreadsheet, making other people rich. Hello, everybody. Welcome to World Who Reads the News. I'm your host, Paul. Remember, if you like what you see, please consider supporting me. Today, I have an article that comes from the Global Times and has been aggregated by our friends at Panda Guides. It's an interesting article. Let's read. Shanghai White Collar's physical examination is 99% abnormal. Hmm. That's not a good headline. Let's read what this one's all about, shall we? A health report on Shanghai white collar workers became a trending topic on Weibo on Wednesday, with it showing that the Shanghai's office workers, the abnormal rate of physical examinations has astonishingly risen to nearly 99%, with fewer than two thirds in every 100 office workers completely healthy. I have to ask before we move on, is this a, a sign of the times? Is this a sign of the overwork schedule? Or is this just the um, signs of uh, the general culture that one would experience in a developing country? Chinese workers' poor health conditions and tech companies' toxic 996 work culture, which involves working from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. six days a week, have made waves in Chinese people's online discourse since the first workday of 2021 following the sudden death of a 23-year-old employee at China's e-commerce giant Ping Duoduo believed to be related to her overworking until 1.30 a.m. on December 29, 2020. Many netizens advocated the local authorities to prohibit working overtime because many workers have faced overworking. One netizen commented that it is hard to say whether the current generation can expect to live longer than previous generations, even with today's advanced medical science techniques, because many incurable diseases still exist and postponing retirement will only make the situation worse. Interesting. According to the 2019 report on Shanghai's White Collar Workers Health Index jointly released by Shanghai Foreign Service Group and the popular medicine magazine, the abnormal rate of physical examinations for Shanghai office workers rose to 98.75% in 2018 from 94% in 2013. In terms of genders, the top three health problems for women include bone rarefaction, helicobacter pylori, and chronic cervixitis. Oh God. Include bone rarefaction, helicobacter pylori. I'm not a doctor, I can't read this. Ah! And chronic cervixitis. God, I, I, I'm sure I butchered those. I'm not a doctor. I... While the top three problems for men were increased blood viscosity, thyroid disorders, and chronic pharyngitis. Pharyngitis? Pharyngitis? Mm. Don't know. You know, I am in my 40s now, and I have worked since I was 14 years old. And I've worked behind the desk for 12 hours a day, six days a week. I have worked as a hotel manager standing for 12 hours a day, six days a week. And uh, I got to tell you, the, the, the thing that I suffer from more than anything is just a stiff back from just standing the whole time, not wearing good shoes. Um, and I will say that I remember when things were really bad and I was working just insane amount of hours. I always gave myself time to do some yoga. And uh, every day after a 12 hour shift, I would go to the yoga studio and I would get about a and I would get my yoga in and it made a world of difference, not just in my sleep, but also my productivity at work. And um, I truly believe that it saved my life. That's just another little 
tidbit for you. What do you think about this, um, this phenomenon? Comment below, let me know.